I made history today. You know why? Because this is my first time walking along the coastline of the Caribbean Sea. And it's so gorgeous, man. Look at that. It's almost six o'clock. But I love what I'm seeing. Look at the beach. The lush, mountainous. I don't know, man. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. And um, guess who brought us here? Oh, you Tayo Raimondo Joadi. Mr. Tayo. Tayo for short. You live in? I live, I've been living here for, for what, over 20 years? I came here in 2003. Over 20 years? Yeah. What, brought, what brought you to Trinidad? Well, my mother she is from Trinidad. Are you, are yes. you serious? She left here in the 60s to go to Nigeria. She met my father in Ibadan. Guess what, she said, there was no man, man enough for her to marry in Trinidad. So she married your dad? Yes. She wanted somebody that was into academics. Back then, the men here were just liming and just laid back. She didn't want that. The men in Trinidad will be angry with you, man. But I can't lie to you. That's, that's the words of your mom? Yes. And that was in the 60s. So you're half Half Trinidadian, half Nigerian. My, wow. father, my father is Yoruba. Kilo Shelle. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because at home, we speak English. My father just, I don't know. He, 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 he didn't bother to teach us. And it's, it's an important thing in Nigeria for Nigerians to, to, to teach their, their children the language. But because he married a, a, a foreigner, he, 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 he didn't see that, he didn't see it important enough to, to teach us. So I'm feeling bad now. I, I keep on blaming him. But people are saying, don't blame him, you, you could do it yourself. But I was going through school, I was working, I didn't have time for that. But, but at, at least, I mean, can I ask your age because you have white beard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 51. So when you were 30, you should have learned the language. I was hustling. To make money? Yes. Do you, do you feel like you need to learn the language now? I feel so, because I want to go back to Nigeria. Oh, wow. Time. Yes. You're moving back to Nigeria? Yes. Oh, so you've been living here all your life? Well, half half my life. Wow. Well, what, what do you intend to go and do in Nigeria? I'm a filmmaker. I'm into documentaries. And you inspired me. So I, I call myself a YouTuber as well. But I'm just coming up. So, you know, I've just seen your videos and, see, and seeing you in person now. And I see how you do your thing. I say, but if you can do it, I can do it too. So I want to go back there as a filmmaker. And, you know, Try and see if I can get into Nollywood and make my name there. And I believe that when you go back to Africa, you can actually make more impact with what you know. You go and transfer your knowledge to Africans back in Africa, which I think is incredible. But if you really wanna um, see what Mr. Tayo does, or you wanna check out his channel, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna tag him on Facebook. You're gonna check it out, and also I'm gonna put a link of his YouTube channel in the comment section. I think he has been amazing. We've been here for the past four days. Four days. And Mr. Tao has been taking us all over the place. He's always behind the camera, but today I felt like you know bringing him in front of the camera. It's tiring, but it is Udmaya, Ghana baby, Africa's most popular YouTuber. So even if I'm tired, I have to do it because it's, it's my brother. <laughs> Because of this, can we all go show love to Mr. Tayo? Mr. Tayo! What, what, is, a, what, is, a, what is a slogan? One of the slogans that you, people should recognize you for? Hmm, that's a serious one. You don't have. You see, you are teaching me now. So I'm learning from you. So tell me, give me, give me one, give me one, give me one. I don't know. Give me one, give me one. I don't know for now, but I think we should help Mr. Tayo get a slogan. So, but, but for now, for now, what I, what I put on YouTube, I'm telling stories using video. Just like you. You are, you are trying to bridge the gap between Africans in the diaspora and Africans on the continent. So I'm doing similar things with you, but from the, from the Caribbean. So I want, to, I want to now take what I have from the Caribbean, go back to Nigeria and compare. Because what they do here, they learned it from Africa. So what I have, I'll take it back there See what they have now. Like like last night we were at an a Google festival in Trinidad. They have it in Nigeria. So I could take what I what I have from here. Go, go, go compare it and see whether they do the right thing or not.